The European Space Agency's Earth observation missions can today measure on a regular global basis the minutest variations of various phenomena such as sea level, ocean color, ice thickness or soil moisture. The agency's archives in Frascati, Italy have also on record the story of three decades of global change captured by different satellites since the late 70s. After a first, second and third generation, we have the technology, we have the ability to build operational systems and actually even as important as that, we have a science community who knows how to use the data. Isn't it interesting that in parallel to that, the whole awareness of the importance of climate change has risen? It's not by chance, but these two things come together and we can offer the observing capabilities that are so desperately needed in order to inform decisions. ESA's new Earth Explorer missions, Cryosat, GOCHE, SMOS, are adding totally new measurements, and future missions, such as the Sentinels, will further extend this huge climate database. This last autumn, Europe's foremost scientists working in many fields of climate research met in Frascati for the kickoff of ESA's climate change initiative. It's the agency's contribution to the global climate observing system called for by the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Some 40 essential climate variables have been defined which today are being measured globally by spacecraft and locally by in situ instruments. Greenhouse gas concentrations, sea ice extent and thickness, sea surface temperature and salinity, forest and biomass degradation are but a few of the data sets now being acquired. ESA's Climate Change Initiative will ensure the long-term generation and study of a dozen variables such as aerosols, clouds, glaciers, ozone, land cover or fires. A few examples. In recent years, large areas of the globe have burned. The impact of such combustion is contributing to an increasingly complex composition of our planet's atmosphere with long-term lasting effects. The sea surface height and ocean temperature have long been considered to be primary indicators of global climate change, but its colour is also an indication of the microscopic marine life which not only reacts to environmental change but also influences it. And of course the long-term implications of the reduction in thickness and disappearance of the Arctic summer ice also need to be fully understood. Likewise, at the South Pole, the Antarctic ice sheet and the gigantic ice flows breaking off from the continental shelf must be constantly measured. These often interdependent parameters require consistent global observation and thorough modelling. ESA and scientists are acutely aware of the importance, the societal benefits of their efforts in the framework of this climate initiative. It's a mantra of the international earth observing community and again it's a sign of coming of age because that's something that politicians it, it, know and understand and policy makers uh, and they're now confident that they can deliver societal benefits but not just promise them actually point to the societal benefits that they have delivered. The European Space Agency's program is thus an essential response to the challenges of climate change. Scientists will be better able to predict the medium and long-term changes that threaten our world so that, hopefully, measures can be taken to safeguard our future.